The one champ? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. There's a good one. No, he is. Chunky dude. Well folks, welcome to the English experience. As you see, I forgot my net for one. We're gonna be fishing for smallmouth bass. Got my good friend Chad Kaiser out with me. He called up this morning. Randy and I were in the office working. Said, hey, the lake has come up. Oh, that sucks. That sucker is in, dude. Get the pliers. Don't jerk on it, because that fucker's in my hand. See it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Watch your hand. It's, know, it's oh. First time I've ever been hooked in my life, dude. Okay, folks, I want to show you something. We had a little unfortunate uh, series of events just happen. And what I've done, if you look right there, I got a big old treble hook right in the paws. This doesn't feel extremely good. What we did, guys, if this happens to you, I hear these horror stories all the time. Guys, I had to drink a fifth of whiskey and turn the hook out the backside and cut it out and all. No, no, let's not do that, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get this hook out of your hand. It's a simple little trick. Works like a champ. What you do, this is a pretty big and meaty hook going into a pretty big and meaty hand. But what you first thing you got to do is, is cut the, the hook off. So what we did, just grabbed a pair of side cutters, cut the hook free so you get the rest of the hooks out of there, okay? Now, you got to have a buddy. In come Chad, all right? We've got the hooks off the bait. We've got a heavy piece of mono. This is 17-pound mono, okay? Now what Chad's going to do as my assistant is he's going to pop this thing out of my hand, okay? And we're going to try to show this on TV how this works, all right? So what you got to do, you got the hook stuck in your hand. Not panicking. It doesn't hurt. Everything's cool. We've got a heavy chunk of mono. We've cut the bait off. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take this piece of mono right here. And we're not going to do double takes on this, so if it's blurry or fuzzy, you're going to have to deal with it, okay? You take this piece of mono right here. The biggest thing that's keeping this hook in there is the barb, okay? And if you try to pull it out, it's just going to cause the barb to snag, all right? So what you do is you just take a heavy piece of mono. I would like to have 20, but I don't have any 20. i got 17. Come in the backside right here like this. Oops, just dropped the mono. Come in the backside like this, okay? Like that. And double it up, okay? So all we've done here is doubled it up, just like that. Now what's going to happen, guys, is Chad's going to take his hand, he's going to push down and back on this shank right here. At the same time, with his other hand, he's going to pop that mono really fast. Okay, and what that's going to do by pushing pressure, it's going to allow that hook to come back out through where it cut that groove going in with the barb. So let's give this a shot. Ready, Mr. Kaiser? Okay, what you're going to do, Chad, you're going to take... Push down and back, right? Up, take your thumb, push down and back, down and back. Don't worry, put pressure on it. No, this way, down and back, like that. Okay? Down and back. You want to pull, you want, don't want to pull down, you want to pull straight back with that, that deal, okay? And I don't want you to be a wussy about it, okay? You're going to give it a pop, okay? Mm -hmm. One, Two, three. Okay, guys, see that right there? That hook is gone, though. It's out of there. Just like that. I don't want to hear those horror stories about turning the hook up and popping it out. Push down on it, pop it back, comes out like a champ, a little blood. Let's get back to fishing. <laughs>